It's very similar to our friend Cassava. Let's look at some stocks. I know Amgen is down a bunch today. Um, people want to talk about AVXL. What else? There's a lot of stuff going on. All right, let's look at that AVXL because a lot of people are interested in it. I don't even think I have a model for it. Let me see. Yeah, the whole Saba thing was like a little anticlimactic. It was almost too easy. You know, it's never easy when millions of dollars are involved, but it feels easy after the fact. I don't know. You could have easily gotten on this stock when it, I think at one point it ran up to like 100 or more. So, all right, let's look at um, AVXL. This is called Anavex or something. It's supposedly pretty similar. I think it's pretty similar to Cassava. It's $9 a share. Um, the Cassava short was in the low single digit millions of dollars, or I guess mid single digit. It was a good trade. I wish I could have gotten tens or tens of millions from it, but I did not crack eight digits, unfortunately. I should have and could have. I was going to put in more the week during, and I couldn't for whatever reason. So, yeah, where's Joe Springer? Is he going to make a video? Did you guys all subscribe to Joe Springer? He's pretty awesome, actually. All right, so this is actually a big market cap, 780 million. It's not small. This is just a MacBook Pro or whatever it's called. Let's see, where is it? Joe Springer. He's a number one securities analyst, so. You are a bag holder. Make sure you subscribe to Joe Springer. Well, he had a state of the Sava address. Let's see here. We need a follow-up video. This drug really works. This company is a threat to big pharma, and there's nothing wrong with the company at all. And same with Rick. Rick Hold viewed on. a bunch more people coming. Dr. Gonzalez Yance, since Dr. Yancey Gonzalez Rojas talking about she ran the one month phase 2B, and then she also ran the open label afterward. And she said after months two and three, people started coming to her saying, my loved one is doing better. And this was her 13th Alzheimer's clinical trial. She said that never happened before. Decided Rick is a billionaire or virtually a billionaire. If he wanted to be on any beach or do anything, he could be doing anything he wanted. Does he want- I don't know if that's true, Joe. <laughs> want? He has the inside scoop there. He's on the board and he's now the CEO. I don't know if he's a billionaire. That, that may or may not be true. The problem is that the absence of evidence does not prove anything. So something like that can be true, but it doesn't make the drug work. You just have to kind of not conflate those two things because it's very easy to conflate. All right, let's look at Anavex Life Sciences. They have $138 million in cash. Okay, that's Q2. Yeah, I, I've heard mixed things about Rick. He doesn't have a hedge fund anymore, from what I understand, for a reason. But I don't know for sure. I don't think he's stupid. But I don't know that he's a stock picking genius either. Uh, Excel is OK on Mac. It's not horrible. Blar Camacine. Blur. Blarcamacine. Indication, Alzheimer's, my favorite. Anavex Life Sciences announced a submission of Blarcamacine, MAA, for treatment of Alzheimer's disease, to the EMA. First marketing authorization submission for Blarcamacine. Overall, Blarcamacine is a small molecule, orally once daily, demonstrated clinically meaningful improvement over 48 weeks with a primary endpoint. That's not an English sentence. Can you guys parse this? Who wrote this? I want to I want to meet the person who wrote this. Overall, blarcamacine, a small molecule. I don't think all Alzheimer's is short, but so far it's been pretty good. I don't know. I've probably shorted like 10 Alzheimer's companies. Anyway, here's here's the sentence in question. I can't copy and paste it, so I'm just going to write it. Blarcamacine, a small molecule administered orally once daily, demonstrated clinically 
meaningful improvement over 48 weeks with primary <laughs> endpoint 8s cog 13 score being larger than two points okay help me understand that i'll blow it up for you guys maybe it's too much i'm just concerned with the english language the english language here i can delete this clause to make it simpler overall first of all why would you start a sentence with the word overall blur Larcamacine demonstrated clinically meaningful improvement over 48 weeks with primary endpoint score being larger than two points. Are they trying to say that the difference between baseline or the difference between placebo? Yeah, I, I should have wrote clinically meaningful. I think that is what they wrote. I know what ADAS-COG is. <laughs> Let's keep reading. This suggests, again, terrible English. This suggests superior numerical clinical efficacy compared to approved therapies. Uh, while also slowing neurodegeneration AD. That's also not true and not good English. The safety profile indicates not requiring MRIs. And eventually, is that the worst English I've seen in a while? And I'm not like some poetic, like English writer, <laughs> but this is bad. I'm just going to get some water. No, I don't think it matters that they use like a, somebody who doesn't speak English well to write these, but it's alarming. This MAA is the first for oral blurcamacine as we are requesting a review of the MAA with the aim to move closer to bringing this therapy to patients with AD worldwide. Juan Carlos Lopez Talavera. Okay, he is the head of R&D. Juan Carlos Lopez Talavera. Blurcamacine safety and efficacy profile could represent a novel treatment that could be complementary or an alternative to A beta MABs. It is a remarkable milestone accomplishment, and this regulatory submission in the EU represents an important step in our efforts to potentially bring the first oral novel treatment. What? They just need somebody to spell check this and like reread it. Another insane, insane sentence. It's a remarkable milestone accomplishment, and this regulatory submission in the EU represents an important step in our efforts to potentially bring the first oral ah, novel treatment Alzheimer's disease to the Alzheimer's disease community. What? Christopher Missling, I blame you. Thank all involved and especially the participating families. I'd like to thank all involved and especially the participating families within our clinical development program. Where we have seen, okay, this is, this is insane. Come on guys. Come on, guys, look at this. Read the sentence. AI would not make this mistake. This is a billion dollar publicly traded company. We're, this is the fourth grammatical error I, I found. Where we have seen that, you don't need to write that either. We know what the subject is. This is really bad. It's not a grammar contest, thank, thankfully, or, or that would not be good. Manuscript of oral Blair camosine phase 2b3 data in a reference Blair camosine for the treatment of AD results from the Anavex to 73AD004. Okay, at least that's a clinical trial. We can go off that. Blair camosine. I mean, I just think you should have a, a person at the company that's like looking at the press releases and making sure they're accurate because that's just insanely bad. It doesn't cost much to get somebody proficient in English and biopharma to, there's all kinds of groups that could do that for you. They'll write the whole press release for you. You don't have to even lift a finger. There's a lot of issues, but the W-H-E-R-E -E instead of the W-E-R-E, -E, that was the main glaring mistake. Okay, so this is called Anavex 2 73 AD 004. Anavex 2 73 AD 004. Implying there's a 003, an 002, and an 001, possibly. Oh, yeah, we should do a micro strategy too, because I 
I think that's a, a big short. Oh, wow, it's dropping a lot. I don't understand this clinical data. Is this against placebo or not? Because it says significantly slowed clinical progression. ADES cog difference 2.027. Oh, there's, okay. 30 meg, 50 meg placebo. Uh, N is 168, 170, 170. There's a titration and then maintenance for 48 weeks. They have a name for the study? Attention AD? No, that's the open label. Okay, co-primary endpoints. Great. Okay, give me the results. I'm not sure. MicroStrategy is kind of like a little... It's a little bit dangerous, you know? Okay, so I'm assuming there's something wrong with this data, but I'm not sure what it is. Two points in 8S cog isn't much. I see that they lost 100 patients in the drug group. Oh, is there into, oh, they're not combining. They're combining the doses. Uh, this is a good quiz for like anybody trying to uh, be a analyst in this space. Yeah, I looked at APLT. I don't, I don't think it was that interesting. So if you look at this data, the question would be what, um, what is wrong with this data? These these companies are so slick at at doing this to us, at lying lying to us. The lie here is that they're not telling you that they're adding up the doses. They went from if you look at the bottom, they went from two hundred ninety eight patients to one ninety one, which is a lot, <laughs> a lot of dropout. So how did they drop out? How many is that to drop out? Only 36, 64% of patients made it to the end. That's pretty unusual. So I'd flag that as a little bit sus, I think the kids say. Okay, none of this is working. I really hate my life right now. I'm not even sure they met their p-value actually. There's something quirky about this disease. And you're definitely not supposed to mix doses up like that. I'd like to see the original, the original data. Participants below the plot represent subjects with non-missing data. I wonder what uh, if MR, MMRM is changed, what happens to the data as well. It's a very weird, CTAD presentation. This is a different drug called blericamacine. I looked at this for like two seconds and there was a whole bunch of reasons why it wasn't real, but I forget what they were. Compensatory therapeutic intervention. That's such a weird, weird way to put it. I like how the entire presentation doesn't have any clinical data. That is insane. Looks like they've had this data for a while. Man, I really want to get rid of these uh, shareholder lawsuit things. It's kind of nuts. The whole, the entire news wires <laughs> shareholder lawsuits. <laughs> ah, this Levi and Karsinski, man, they're a beast. They're doing too much. There's the actual company news. Man, this whole company is based on Levi and Karsinski. Lost money on Avonex? Okay, okay, it stopped. What is this? A follow-on analysis? So how long have they had this data? Since 23? And they, I don't understand. If you have this data since 2023, why don't you file it with the FDA? Oh man, more investigations. This is from literally two years ago. No, no, that's, that's not it. That's Rett syndrome. Yeah, I was short Amelix years ago. They, they started filing last year and they finally filed this year. And they said it was going to be published a year ago. And they finally got acceptance. <laughs> These things take time. <laughs> okay, so a year ago, this is a follow-on analysis. What are these pictures? These pictures don't help. These mean nothing. Get rid of the pictures. They just get in the way of me getting my information. Okay, is this it? December 1st, 2022? It looks like it. Okay. This was the... This was the disclosure. 
December 2022, first disclosure of data. 509 patients, mid or high dose. Okay, hold on. What is this? Should I call the CEO? What do you guys think? Call him right now? Excuse me, sir. I don't understand what you're saying, Jim. That's all I do. Okay, so this is a responder analysis. Fine. On average, patients... Okay, there's no need for a comma there. These guys are just terrible. Hello, it's Joe Springer. This is like, whoever writes these press releases is atrocious. What happened to this guy? Edward Hammond, chief medical officer. Where's the word primary endpoint? This is so weird. See, ordinarily this would be like extremely good data, but there's just something missing here. It's just very bizarre. Wow, MicroStrategy is getting smoked. I covered some cassava today, but I might short it again just because, like, they don't have that much cash. Tar's at 51, wow. Okay, so do these guys do conference calls? Because what I want to know is why wouldn't you file with the FDA? I think there's a Seeking Alpha report about these guys. Oh, I actually have it. I wasn't even looking for it. That's funny. That's, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So they, pro-primary endpoint changed from ADAS-COG plus ADCS, ADL. To ADAS-COG plus CDR some of boxes. Ah. Jim, don't be like the cassava people, dude. I'm a professional. I know how to analyze a company. Don't feel like the cassava people, man. I don't need your help. I know what I'm doing. Don't ban them, but just, you know. This, this, I've, done, I've been doing this a long time, man. <laughs> I know a lot about the FDA and, and Alzheimer's. They, they've never changed anything for approval. CDR sum of boxes. You can use ADAS COG. You can use ADL. You can use, there's IADRS, which they approved Lucanumab, and I'm sorry, Denanumab on as well. So don't, you know, don't try to inform me unless you really know. We don't, we don't need another Joe Springer. Hey, what's up, Humphrey? I missed a few things. Okay, Jim. How much money did you make on cassava? I didn't have the chance to write it all, actually. I had to get it out because I, I knew the data was coming. Did you know the data was coming? You don't have to time him out. You... Don't be mean. Don't be mean. It still says primary endpoint. ADC S A D L. Oh, so they changed. So our top line data in relation to this study, the baseline characteristics of the patient population are presented. Okay. So this was the data before. So they're saying this changed from meeting to meeting, which it should not change. But if there's a change, explanation change, that's, you know, a good explanation. Sometimes it's, you know, I've got to be open-minded. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. This is the data we care about. Okay. So, yeah, I'll put this in the GitHub. Okay. Let's see. And who's the guy speaking anyway? Is this Matt Nacktrab? What? No. How the? Oh, Mark Andreessen is on Joe Rogan? Great. They also do standard error instead of standard deviation, which is funny. I know another company that did that. There's some good books to get into Biopharma. Some of the other people here can tell you which ones I recommend. Okay, but didn't they have this baseline right here? Look at this chat. You have ADAS COG total score mean 30.25 and 28.75. So they changed this? or they did some RRMR, or like some other, I think it's Rosenbaum. 
Okay, this, so this adjustment was sort of the same for both. The change was 1.3 on 8S cog, but there it says 1.85. 30.36, put that on your calculator. Does anybody have a calculator? 30.36 minus 27.62. I'll wait. 30.36 minus 27.62. Anybody have a calculator? 30.36 minus 27.62. Okay, looks like a lot of the independent statisticians I've consulted agree that 2.74 is the correct number. And in fact, it is not 2.26. My man, why you lying? Okay, I just, I got more, more to do here. Let's see, it's a little odd. Do you see that chat? Is that number more or less? Than 0.05. I'm gonna give this some benefit of the doubt. A publication would make a lot, would make it a lot better. But like this company can't write a press release correctly. They can't do clinical trials correctly. It's just not, it's not a good look. Maybe that's the opportunity, right? Yeah, even on the slide, they, they have the wrong number for the top. And that's why I'm trying to figure out if there's some like other adjustment or covariate that they're doing. Showed a slowing in cognitive decline by 45% compared to placebo at the 48 week time point. And the mean difference in ADAS COG score change was 1.85 points uh, in favor of active drug compared to placebo. But like this is not stuff you would just like get wrong. You know what I mean? You don't just get something that important wrong, you know? The secondary endpoint using the CDR sum of boxes uh, decline was 27% less across both treatment arms than it was for the placebo arm with a mean treatment difference in score of 0 0.4. And why wouldn't they file with, with the FDA? Like, of course they would file. Or two points on the CDR sum of boxes, again, with a significant p-value associated with that. It's an Aussie accent. In terms of safety. So is this, who is this guy? Who is the guy speaking? Anybody know? I was, I was wondering if there was a statistically significant difference between the ADS COG scores between placebo and drug groups at the end of the study. Yeah, so this is some, this is some really crazy. Who is long this thing? That's another question. Yeah, I don't want to do in more Alzheimer's shorts, dude. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I don't need this. Just when they, just when they thought. Okay, so we got BlackRock. What's NWAM? I want to see what that is. Oxif. There's no healthcare people in here. Just some quants and some indexers. So I guess mostly retail. At AAIC, they said that this happened which is pretty bad p-value. I'm still curious how they got so close on ADAS COG, because... Ooh, Sava's in shorting territory again. Anything above four bucks, I think, is a short. Oh, is it locate problem, or is it past... What's the problem here? Uptick rule? Come on, someone do an uptick. Buy 100 shares for me. Give me an uptick. Buyout. Buyout? Buyout? He's already dead. I'd really like to see the the paper on that phase three. It's like these guys are just like making, making it up along the way. I love this. Different number of patients included in... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 154 and 108, 154 and 109, 144 and 83, 144 and 85. I like what you're doing there. Just a couple patient change, not that big a deal. There is a free tier for Godel. Well, sometimes you have to short um, the stock right before. Sometimes you have to wait years. Um, I am living life to the fullest, by the way. Cham champagne is not living life to the fullest. That might be what you consider living life to the fullest, but it's not what I consider being living life to the fullest. We got filled in Sava at $4, nice. Let's keep going maybe. Oh, nice. 
I might cover some micro strategy because I don't really know the company that well. I can do a model for you guys to see what their story is, but that's a big position for a company I don't really understand. Just seemed like a meme. Um, let's see. No, there is a there is a free tier, not the trial. There's literally a free tier. You do not need to pay to use Godel. And I don't want to hear you saying otherwise because you were lying. Um, we should look at Amgen too, but I'm I'm very puzzled by this AVXL man. This is just weird. It's very similar, very, 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 very similar to our friend Cassava. Was this 003 or 002? This was 002. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know was, uh, the molecule was similar. I mean, just because they made an error in their primary endpoint math doesn't mean it's uh, totally garbage. If you look into how this drug was made, it was kind of, I looked a long time ago, it was sort of a trash Trash drug. CEO is on the paper. Always a red flag for me. You want a live user's chart of what? Yeah, I think it's just very unusual. And the market cap's very high for like, you can, it's weird in Alzheimer's, you're either a 10 billion market cap or you're zero. And these guys have a billion market cap, but like <laughs> Alzheimer's is a really big disease you should be able to sell a lot of drug if you can get approval. So I don't get it. 